did this British woman, Samantha Luthwaite, take part in the Nairobi attacks? She's been on the run in East Africa. Some think they saw her at the scene. She's the widow of the 7-7 London bomber Jermaine Lindsay, but she had no terrorism record in Britain before she left for Africa. But in Mombasa last year, she was suspected of involvement in a plot to bomb tourist resorts. Kenyan investigators believe she's a behind-the-scenes terrorist facilitator. But those who knew her find this hard to believe. The person that I knew, I would find that she would be a, incapable of doing such sophisticated um, terrorism activity. And it frightens me. Um, is she involved? Is she put under pressure? Is she under duress? There's so many questions to be asked. Because the Samantha that I knew, I can't imagine it. it. It takes someone very sophisticated to be involved in such terrorist international organization like this. So what are the global connections of Al-Shabaab and the Nairobi attackers? Would-be jihadists have been coming from the US, Britain, Scandinavia and elsewhere to join Al-Shabaab. Researchers talk of a pipeline of recruits coming from the US. FBI officers I spoke to said that uh, they had likely slowed the pipeline down some. They've been very successful, but they admitted that they hadn't stopped it and that they, that was probably impossible and this was going to go on. And this attack obviously proves that uh, that's the case. Al-Shabaab is not doing well in Somalia. Its forces have been driven out of the main cities by UN-backed African troops. The militants' draconian rule is deeply resented in many areas they still control. But they can strike across borders, and for international jihadists, they still hold an allure. Since the Kenyans and the African Union force have driven Shabab out of the capital and the one of the main ports, uh, they've gone on the attack and become more Al-Qaeda-like. There's been a coup within the, within the organization, and from, from trying to hold territory, they're simply going on the attack and creating a spectacular incident that makes the world take them seriously again. Now, as Kenyan investigators race to identify the attackers, counterterrorism officials from many other countries, including Britain, are urgently checking their records and looking for answers. Frank Gardner, BBC News.